back again. Um, we, <laughs> here we are. We wanted to um, just give you some guidance with regard to the movie assignment. It's your first assignment. Um, one of the things that you'll be reading about is how very, very important the media are in shaping views of humans, views of disability in particular for this course. And also, um, one of the things to think about is the way in which media can elicit social change. We're not asking um, for responses specifically about social change right now as we begin this course, but if you have any thoughts about it, please let us know. So we have selected three movie clips, and you may have seen these movies. Um, and two of them are not directly about disability, but speak to disability in ways that we thought were pretty important. The third one, Mr. Holland's Opus, is specifically about um, music and hearing. And it is, it's a wonderful movie, so if you haven't seen these movies in their entirety, please, uh, we urge you to do so. They are wonderful, wonderful movies. They make you laugh. They make you cry. And they're important in helping us think about the values that the media portrays about people and about atypical people, about atypical bodies, about atypical experience, and about typical people. So when you look at these movies, we want you to really think beyond just a diagnostic view of disability and um, answer the, the questions that we've posted on the syllabus in the most creative and uh, complex ways that you can think about. And part of this is really asking you to look at, as, as Liz gave the title of one of the films, but the other two, and they're clips, and it, you should be able to go on to the, um, the message on, on First Class and by double clicking on the uh, the link go right to the film and the film clips and a couple from sea biscuit one of our favorite. our favorite <laughs> right and another from the first shrek movie as as liz mentioned the other one is from mr hollow's opus though a dated film i think um raises some interesting questions for us what we're really asking you to do is is to take a look at each of these three films and the, the clips and talk about what do, do each of the films have to do about disability and what messages about disability come from those films and from their, their conversations. And then um, how do thinking about those films might redefine uh, the meaning of disability? Provide a rationale for that. In addition to actually looking at film, then Liz mentioned media plays a particularly important area here is we've also included for the same assignment a couple of different websites about beauty pageants. Um, and we would like to have you go on there and uh, compare some of your thoughts about the beauty pageants. And there's some points there in particular where you, you, can, you can respond to those. We don't need to go over those. But really at this point we're really asking you to think about portrayal in the media. Uh, whether that be print media that we com commonly think about or uh, videos. And we thought that we would give you this assignment first before we launch into the more scholarly literature because we really want to get your juices flowing and get you excited about thinking beyond the diagnostic body. And, we, and I think this is important. We want to know what you think about disability and what your impressions about how these films do or do not represent and the beauty pageant uh, write-ups do or do not represent disability. And that provides us a basis for an ongoing conversation which we will have over the course of the next couple of weeks. Yeah, the beauty pageants um, are interesting comparative pieces of work um, and as you will see one is Miss USA and the other is Miss main wheelchair is it or, something like that. yeah miss wheelchair so just the names of the beauty pageants in themselves already give you a sense of what is foregrounded and what is uh, really um, valued as important and not important in each and 
gives and as you you look at the articles and you read them i think you'll see some very very different kinds of discussions one is a blog um, on Miss USA and the the person who won it and it is interesting in in its own right um, with regard to uh, national and religious diversity and uh, the other is specifically about people who use wheelchairs so I hope you enjoy the assignment and um, let us know everything you're thinking right. and, uh, and again as we said in our first conversation, there's no correct answer, no right or wrong, other than you need to do it. Um, so that's just about it for this video. We are going to be posting, as Liz mentioned, a couple, two or three other videos during the course. We'll do a video for tomorrow's class, uh, the June 2nd, where uh, we begin to lay out the framework that for us to think about uh, theories about disability. But more on that later. Anyway, enjoy the films. Enjoy the readings. And write to us. And write to us. Bye-bye.